What's up? So, uh, I made it. I am here in Japan. I am in my apartment, which is really tiny, sort of. So you got dining room table, kitchen, tiny ass fridge, <laughs> heater, and patio door. Show you guys the view in a sec. And then air conditioner. And then my bed. p.m. so not at all the time here uh, it's Canada time I guess Oops. Uh, okay the flight went the flights one was delayed so I missed the connecting flight but um, it wasn't that big of a wait to, for the next one and the people who were picking me up were still there Eric and China and, and Randy so Randy's my employer. Gina is Eric's girlfriend. Um, it's kind of cold. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's like not in ten degrees, but it's cold in the apartment because you saw the size of the heater. It's the extent of what they have here. It's not like centrally heated or anything, and it's kerosene based. So you have to fill you have to fill up these like these cells of, with kerosene, um, and then when you run out, you go buy more kerosene so kind of interesting makes the room smell like kerosene but that's not that bad of a smell actually um, so you know, short flight from Ottawa to the States really homesick on that flight uh, had a had a somewhat of a hard time and then when I got to Chicago O'Hare that's when my flight was delayed, so I had a lot of time to kill. Tried to make a phone call here to explain, you know, what was going to happen and when I might arrive in, in uh, at my final destination, uh, so that the people that picked me up weren't going to wait too long or whatever. And in the process of making that phone call, I used my visa, my credit card, and I at one point I couldn't find it, so I was like, "Oh my God, I lost it! I couldn't find it. It wasn't where I left it in the phone. It wasn't in my pockets." In the end, it was in my pockets. I just, it was like slipped within my passport somewhere. So thank God for that. Um, and then uh, the long flight, right, 13 hours from Chicago to Tokyo was very easy to uh, to handle. Um, although I was seated at first in a in a row where there was, you know, everybody had a seat. I was in the window, uh, in the window seat. Uh, in front of me was the exit row and there was only one person there and the exit row for people who don't know has a ton of leg room so as soon as the flight was uh, as soon as the airplane took off and was beyond the point where you could start roaming around the plane again um, I was uh, or sorry but beyond the point where you weren't allowed to roam around you had to stay seated um, I took off my seatbelt I went straight to that exit row in front of me and I took a seat and really good decision because uh, their leg room was there I, I was comfortable sleeping uh, for the few hours that I did sleep and um, just the bathroom was literally like like across this mini little exit row hall so I just like knew exactly when the thing was vacant and didn't have to go wait standing up or whatever um, and uh, otherwise you know, it was considered an overnight flight, which was weird, because you don't, uh, well, I, the flight was basically, like, we left Chicago around 1 in the afternoon, and then we showed up in Japan at, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, something, or, yeah, around 4 in the afternoon, or, th yeah, 3, 4 in the afternoon, um, the next day, so we had gone through an afternoon, an evening, and a morning, in span of 13 hours as opposed to the usual 24 um, so well anyways yeah we had we had basically done 24 hours and a half that time and uh, that's why it's considered an overnight flight but because it's considered overnight you don't get as much food which was kind of a, something I, I think I knew sort of had a hunch for um, you know you there was a meal indicated on the ticket but 
I figured if it was overnight and I was getting on after lunchtime, the meal would be dinner and maybe breakfast. Um, so I, I brought some, you know, nut peanut mixes and dried fruit mixes that I bought at, uh, at uh, Chicago airport. That helped me get through because otherwise I, was, I would have been starving. Um, also I brought an empty bottle of water that I was um, able to fill right, well so I wasn't empty, I filled it right before I got on the plane. Um, this bottle, this like big bottle, so key for anybody who's doing long flights by the way. Um, I was also coming down with a cold, which I think I still am. So I, I jacked the cold effects that we had at home, and I was popping that every, every time I ate, so every two to three hours. Kind of took a little more than the recommended dose, but whatever, I had to. I was phlegmy, you know, like my nose was clogged, and thank God I didn't have any fever-like symptoms, so that was good. I had Advil in case, but I, it was fine. Uh, and then the last flight was a quick flight from t Tokyo to uh, Nagoya, and that's where my buddies and my employer picked me up. So I'll show you guys the view. It's kind of nice. There's, it's, it's early now. It's like 6.30 in the morning. But I went to bed at like 9, 30, 10, no, 10, 10, 30 last night. So, so this is my view. You can see all those classic Japanese stuff. It's cool. Like, there's faint mountains in the distance, but then you get over here. Further down, you probably can't see, but way further down between the little high rise and that building that's even taller with the two kind of spearing you know, towers on top of it. There's like Rockies all over, there's snow back there. And then that's a uh, right here, those cars driving down a dike, which is for a river that is, I think, along the other side of the dike. The garden stuff like that, you know. It was like I kind of explained to some people, this place is like a giant suburb. There's not really like a downtown core. Well, there is a little, but it's not very big. So there's my bed. It's just like a little Japanese style futon, they call it. So it's just like a little foamy mattress on the floor. And I'll show you guys the bathroom. So there's my fridge, super tiny fridge. Also, look at this microwave. There's a top button, so the button with the bread on it, that's toast. It'll like, it's like a microwave that like, I want it on toast setting, so I'm going to make toasts with a microwave. And then, here's the bathroom. So you've got not much headspace, by the way. I have light. So I'm standing here. somewhere in just like a giant, you know, normal sized shower. <laughs> It'll be nice. Um, and then, that's pretty much it for the apartment, is, is what it is. That's like going to be, this will be the height of my oven, so I'm pretty much going to sit <laughs> as I cook. That's not an oven, that's just like a, pl a place where you put the oven, and there's the gas plug. It's like um, just like a stove top. I, mean, I don't actually have a stove. That's what the microwave is for, I guess. So Eric says he has a, sto a toaster oven. And so Eric lives two units down, um, and so we'll be able to share a lot of stuff. I hope because he's way more equipped right now than I am. So <coughs> that's pretty much it. Um, today I'm going to. Uh, go and see the school for the first time. It's just down the street, five minute walk, super practical. And uh, meet the people, hopefully start equipping my apartment with more essentials. Um, 
like the stove top. I, I didn't really need something to cook on. I just, I'm not the I'm not a fan of microwaving or nuking all my food. So, and I want to eat warm food because it is freaking cold here. And well, I'm, I'm probably not well dressed either. But and uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'm just trying to think what happened during my flight. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Uh, you know, managed the delay no problem, and it was kind of nice. We walked out into an area where there was my name on a piece of paper, Mr. Joseph Garcia. And so when I walked in the, the, the uh, Tokyo airport, so I went there and they had a little voucher for me to get a replacement ticket. Probably the only nuisance was that I had to uncheck and recheck my bag. So I, I arrived in Tokyo, I had to go grab my four super heavy, well, some of them heavy suitcases drag them to the Japan Airlines kiosk and recheck them. Um, and uh, yeah, we got here, got picked up at the airport. It was about a 45 minute drive, it felt like. A bit of a detour though, I missed an exit, so I'm gonna take it last time. Uh, I, feel, I feel good, like I don't feel jet lagged as much. I slept well. I can't wait to take a hot shower. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to have everything here set up. Eric's place, like, it's a bit bigger, and, uh, like, basically it's, it's, it's got more depth to it, so longer, but, uh, um, same kind of width, and, um, he's, he's, you know, made it, it's cozy, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to sort of seeing what this place is going to look like in, like, six months or something, uh, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll end it there and um, probably the next update would be in a few days when I'll you know have some things to talk about what I've been doing uh, what my job is slowly implying uh, going to imply or whatever and what I'll be doing and stuff like that and uh, yeah I'll keep you guys posted for sure